Dobar dan i dobrodošli na još jednu video lekciju iz engleskog jezika. Lekcija je za učenike šestih razreda, a današnja tema je music. Dear students, my name is Liljana Kolar-Panteler and today I'm going to be your English teacher. Today we'll talk about music. Odgojno obrazovni ishodi današnje lekcije su sljedeći. Učenik razlikuje žandrove u glazbi. Kada govorimo o potrebnom priboru, potrebna je znači bilježnica i olovka iz engleskog jezika kako biste zabilježili neku novu riječ ili poja. Zatim kompjutor ili tablet ili mobitel kada ćete moći pauzirati video uz internetski pristup pristupiti preporučenim interaktivnim sadržajima uz poveznice koje ćete dobiti. If you're ready, we can start. Good luck! If you open your notebook, uh, maybe you can think of few words that you associate with the word music. Maybe these questions can help you. Think of who is your favorite singer or what's your favorite band? What instruments can you name? Maybe you play some of them. What music genres do you know? I'm sure it's not difficult to think of few words connected with music. If you're ready, we can move on. And here is the hot question. What is music genre? It's a bit difficult to make a definition because it is somehow related to style, to category, class, group, type, even a kind of or a sort of. All of these words can make a definition of music genre because music is art and this is the way to classify art. When we talk about favorite books or maybe films, music, even visual arts like paintings, drawings, printmaking, sculptures, ceramics, photography, even TV programs, video games, or filmmaking, design, different crafts and architecture, we are happy to know that they all have genres, because life is easier when everything has a genre, isn't it? There are too many different genres to count. Genres can be future and modern and better or old-fashioned, and latest genres. It is much easier to find the art you are interested in if you know the genre. For example, you can say I like classical music or I prefer modern architecture. Now let's see some music genres. There are too many genres to count, but let's see just some of them. Classical music, rap, hip-hop, house, pop music, jazz, blues, R&B, meaning rhythm and blues, techno music, disco or dance music, religious music like gospel, traditional and folk music, reggae, funk, heavy metal, rock and roll, Latin music, country music and many more. Which is your favorite one? When I think or talk about music, my first association is a musical instrument. What about you? But did you know that musical instruments have their families? They really do. Here we have five musical instrument families. Even there are more, but here are five most familiar ones. Let's see the first musical instrument family. It's percussion instruments, udareljke. Keyboard instruments, to su instrumenti ili glazbala sa tipkama. Wind instruments, su puhački instrumenti ili glazbala. String instruments, string je žica ili struna, pa su ovo žičani instrumenti. And the last one, can you guess? Brass instruments, limeni, puhački instrumenti. 
Let's see and find out and even maybe listen to some of them. Let's start with percussion instruments. Here we have the drums and the tambourine. And here are the drums, bubnevi. We can see a set of drums, usually used in popular music, jazz, rock and roll, and so on. A person who plays the drums is called a drummer. Let's listen to them. And here is the tambourine, tambourine ili def. It's a musical instrument in the percussion family, made of frame, uh, usually wooden or plastic one, with pairs of small metal jingles. A person who plays the tambourine is a tambourinist. Let's listen to it. And now let's see some wind instruments. Pogledajmo neka puhačka glazbala. The bagpipes, gajde. The flute, flauta. The saxophone, saxophone. And the clarinet, clarinet. Let's listen to them. And here we have the flute. It belongs to the woodwind music instruments family together with the clarinet. A person who plays the flute is a flute player. The bagpipes or just the pipes, gajde. It's a musical instrument that has a bag that holds the air. The player usually keeps the bag full of air by blowing into it with the tube. To make music, the bag is pressed and the air comes out through a kind of flute. Scotland is traditionally linked to the bagpipes and many pipe tunes come from there. A person who plays the bagpipes is a piper. Uh, did you know that there are several Croatian bagpipes too? In Croatia we have Slavonske gajde, dude, Isterski mih, Dalmatinski mih, Hercegovački mih, mih spelješca i surle. And now let's see the brass and wind musical instruments family. We here have the trumpet, the saxophone, the tuba. And here we have the tuba. It's a brass and a wind instrument at the same time. It usually goes together with the trumpet. A person who plays the tuba is a tuba player. The saxophone, it's in a family of woodwind instruments, but it's made of brass, so it makes it a member of a brass wind instruments family too. It's used mostly in classical music, military bands, marching bands, jazz, rock and roll, and pop music as well. A person who plays the saxophone is a saxophonist. Let's listen to it. And now let's see the family of string instruments. Pogledajmo žiča na glazbala. The cello, the guitar, the violin, a double bass, the banjo, 
an electric guitar. So let's find some more information about these instruments. The guitar is a popular musical instrument classified as a string instrument, usually having from 4 to 18 strings. Most often it has 6 strings. A person who plays the guitar is a guitarist or a guitar player. An electric guitar is a guitar that converts the vibration of its strings into electrical signals. It has a major role in electric blues, rock and roll, uh, rock music, heavy metal music and many other genres of music. It can have uh, 6, 7, 8 or even 12 strings. The violin, that is also known as a fiddle, is a string instrument as well. It usually has four strings and most commonly it is played by drawing a bow across its, its strings. A person who plays the violin is a violinist. The cello, it is a member of the violin family of musical instruments. It is usually bowed. A person who plays the cello is a cellist. A double bass is the largest string instrument. It's a member of the orchestra string section. It is usually bowed. A person who plays a double bass is a bassist. The banjo comes from American old-time music and is associated with folk, country or even rock music. It is usually a five-stringed instrument. A person who plays the banjo is a banjo player or banjoist. And the last family of musical instruments for today is a keyboard instrument family. So, it's made of the accordion, the piano, and the synthesizer. The accordion. They come from 19th century German accordion from a chord and are a family of box-shaped musical instruments or keyboard instruments. But technically it's a wind instrument because it needs air to produce a sound. A person who plays the accordion is an accordionist. The piano is a short for pianoforte. It's a musical instrument played using a keyboard. Most modern pianos have a row of 88 black and white keys. It is widely used in classical and jazz music, traditional and popular music as well. A person who plays the piano is a pianist. The synthesizer is an electronic keyboard instrument that can produce and combine a large range of recorded sounds in order to copy other musical instruments or voices. A person who plays the synthesizer is a synthesis or a synthesizer player.
And now we've heard a lot of new information about different musical instruments. You can now press the pause and copy this link into your browser and you'll find an interesting game. You just need to choose between playing quiz or flashcards, press start and enjoy practicing the new words. I'm going to show you an example. So the game goes like this. I chose the flashcards, so I need to name the musical instrument. Let's flip the card and see the bagpipes. Okay, the next example. Name this instrument. Let me flip the card. It's the guitar. And one more. Uh -huh. What's this? It's the harp. Okay, you have 22 instruments. I hope you'll enjoy the game. And now the family of wind instruments one more time. Let's practice their names again. So we have to match the picture with the correct name. Can you guess the name of the first instrument on the left? Its name is the saxophone, of course. Then let's see another one. Can you guess the name? The flute. Okay, the third one. The tuba. Then we have the five, frula, the clarinet, and the last one, the bagpipes. Well done! Let's move on. In this activity you can see six musicians, but many more names for the musical instruments. So let's find out which instruments can you find. Let's start from the left. Here. The guitar. Excellent. Then the cello, the third one, the violin. Well done. Then on the right we have the banjo, then the harp, and the last one, the piano. Very well. And in this activity, as you can see, we have two families of musical instruments. We have string instruments and percussion instruments. But there are many more names than necessary. We have to match the right one. So let's start with string instruments. Can you see the right name for the first instrument? It's the double bass. Excellent. The second string instrument is the harp. The third string instrument is the violin. The fourth, the guitar. And here we have one more string instrument. It's the banjo. Now let's see percussion instruments. The first one is the drums, the second one the tambourine, and can you guess the name for the last one? It's the gong. It's a kind of very old instrument that has Asian origins and it's made of flat metal, as you can see, that just needs to be hit with a kind of hammer. Let's go. And now I need to share a secret with you. I would like to apply to become a member in my city choir. But there is a test, a test of some basic music terminology. Would you like to help me to practice a bit so I could maybe pass that entry test? Hoćete li mi pomoći provježbati neke osnovne glazbene pojmove kako bih prošla na tom prijemnom testu za postati članicom gradskog zbora? Let's see the first question. When the song is easy to remember and the lyrics and rhythm stays on your mind, it's a popular song, a catchy song or an orchestral song. Znači, kada je pjesma toliko lagana da ju brzo pamtimo, a tekst pjesme i ritam ostaju nam u glavi, tada je ta pjesma a catchy song. Ok, let's see number two. You play the drums using chopsticks, drumsticks or drum bats. Da bismo svirali bubnjeve, potrebni su nam chopsticks, mislim da su to štapiče za jelo, drumsticks, hmm, to bi moglo biti, ili drum bats. Let's see, 
drumsticks okay we'll try to remember that mm -hmm. number three you play the violin the cello or the bass using a bow a fiddle or a stick da bismo svirali violinu violon cello ili bass potrebno nam je gudalo a to će biti hmm, mislim da fiddle nije to je drugi naziv za violinu stick mi je malo preobično let's see Gudalo će biti a bow. Very nice. Number four. A large group of people who sing together is a pop star, the choir, a composer. Poveća grupa ljudi koji zajedno pjevaju zovu se Composer je skladatelj, to nikako. Pop star isto tako ne, ali the choir je zbor. Number five. My grandmother is 92, but she is as fit as a fiddle. What does it mean? Ako bi baka ima 92 godine, a još uvijek je as fit as a fiddle, što bi to značilo? She speaks in a high-pitched voice, govori piskutavim glasom, ili she is healthy and strong, još je zdrava i snažna, ili je thin, mršava. Kako to kažemo u hrvatskom jeziku? Da je netko zdrav kao dren. It means to be as fit as a fiddle. Very nice. Let's move on. Let's see question number six. A person that plays music is a musical, a musician, a player. Osoba koja svira, znači glazbenik je, a musician of course. Number seven. A large group of people that play together is a choir, an orchestra, a team. Veća grupa ljudi koja zajedno sviraju su, znači akvaja je zbor, malo prije smo rekli, an orchestra, of course, and here we have the picture of an orchestra. Number eight, a small group of people that play together is a duet, a band, a club. Mala grupa ljudi koja zajedno sviraju su, a band, we know that. Number nine, a person who leads an orchestra is a leader, a musician, a conductor. Osoba koja vodi orkestar je a leader, vođa, a musician, glazbenik, ili a conductor, dirigent, naravno bit će ovo zadnje. Number ten, the words of a song are called the notes, the lyrics, poems. Riječi u pjesmi zovu se nisu notes, nego su lyrics. Riječi u pjesmi. Number 11. A piano has how many black and white keys? The correct answer is 88 black and white keys. I have to remember that. Mm -hmm. We have a conductor, dirigent, a band, manja skupina ljudi koja svira, an orchestra, velika skupina ljudi koji sviraju, musician je glazbenik i lyrics je tekst pjesme. Thank you very much for your help. I hope I'll manage to pass the that entry test. And now, if you think that you need more practice, you can now press the pause, copy this link into your browser and play a game where you can practice all 16 new words connected to music vocabulary. I can show you how to do that. So I decided to play the quiz for this time. Will you help me? Let's see the first question. Text piesme. Uh, lyrics, I think so. That's nice. Number two. Dirigent. It's going to be a conductor. Nice. The third one. Žice ili strune, the strings. Very well. And the last one. Palice za buban i druge udareljke, drumsticks. Very nice. Will you try? Danas ste mogli primijetiti da sam često koristila ove riječi koje u hrvatskom jeziku nemamo, a zovu se članovi ili articles. Često sam danas koristila određeni član the, Isto tako ova dva neodređena člana e i n, koja u biti znače jedan, bilo koji, 
ili ponekad nisam koristila niti jedan član ispred nekih riječi i to je situacija koju zovemo zero article ili no article, znači da on tada ne dolazi. Odnosno, imamo nekakva tri pravila ili tri moguće situacije, pa pogledajmo kada smo to danas radili. Prvo, we use the in this way to talk about musical instruments. Znači, ispred nekog glazbenog instrumenta koristimo član the. Danas smo imali the violin, the guitar and so on. And we use a or an with jobs or professions. Pa tako je, danas smo puno puta rekli a violinist, a guitar player and so on. Let's see the examples. John plays the piano really well. She is learning the guitar. Da vidimo sada zanimanja. John is a pianist. She is a guitarist. Can you play the drums? Are you a drummer? Mrs. Green teaches the violin. Mrs. Green is a violinist. I can't play the accordion. I'm not an accordionist. Zašto smo sad odjednom stavili N, a do sada smo samo stavljali E. Kao što vidimo riječ accordionist počinje na otvornik A, pa zbog lakšeg izgovora dolazi član N. Samo zbog toga. Have you ever played the harp? No, we are not harpists. U ovom slučaju ne dolazi niti jedan član, vidimo li zašto? Zato jer harpist je u množini, a rekli smo da e ili n znači jednu osobu ili jednu stvar. Prema tome ne možemo staviti jedan prije množine, odnosno ispred množine svirači harfe. Ok, let's move on. Dear students, this is all for today. As for the end, there are three different activities that you should do on your own. Znači, od tri različite vrste sadeća odaberite onu koja vam je najsimpatičnija ili najizazovnija i pošaljite vašom učitelju ili učiteljici. Zadeća broj 1. Popuniti praznine sa članovima E ili N koje smo upravo upotrebljavali ispred zanimanja, u ovom slučaju glazbenika, the kojeg smo upotrebljavali ispred glazbala ili glazbenog instrumenta i paziti da ne stavimo niti jedan član u situaciji kada nam je zanimanje u množini jer E ili N znači 1. Ako vam ova zadača nije dovoljno izazovna, zadača broj 2, exit card number 2, sastoji se od 8 glazbenika, napišite njihova imena i ne zaboravite ispred staviti član E ili N. I treća zadača, exit card number 3, this is the puzzle, you have to guess the name. U opisu ovog uličnog benda nalazi se... Nešto prepoznatljivo, najčešće je to glazbeni instrument koji netko svira, morate pogoditi ovih osam imena i napisati ih u stupcu vašem učitelju ili učiteljici. This is all for today, dear students. Thank you for your attention. If you want to find something more about types of musical instruments, you can just follow these links and enjoy the activities. Thank you and goodbye.